short rest and I, I'm not quite sure how, how long short rest is. I mean, you've been sitting down for like at least 30 minutes. Oh, uh, well, I keep asking every five minutes because um, what if five minutes from now the quiet time ends but I don't know and then I keep being quiet. Okay, you'll tell me. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Did I mention how extremely grateful I was that you, a very powerful and masterful uh, adventurer, uh, it was um, nice enough to take me, a humble tiefling warlock, on uh, your quest with you? The last couple quests have been so much fun. I've had a really great time. <sighs> oh, and now we're on this really big quest to save the whole town. <laughs> I've never been in this situation before. It's crazy. Like that necromancer or something that's bothering them. <laughs> We're gonna take him down. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what it is that he's doing wrong. To me, it seems like whatever he's doing is okay, but I mean, <laughs> we're doing it for them, right? <laughs> So cool. Oh, you're trying to sleep. Oh, <laughs> you should have said so. Is that why we're in quiet time? <laughs> you silly goose, I can help you fall asleep. Yeah, I know a spell. <laughs> of course I do. Have I ever used it? Yes. On Daglop, my imp. Yes. No, no, no. This isn't like all the other times. Like when you met me, I was using that one spell. Um, Dasha's hideous laughter. I was using it on my rat friends because I thought maybe it would help them, you know, loosen up a bit. But instead they ended up dying. But um, no, this isn't like that. I truly do use it on Daglop all the time. Poor guy has insomnia. He just lays down at night, thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and, you know, his mind, it wanders and it goes to all the most embarrassing moments of his life. <laughs> this one time, <laughs> he was in, in this group of demons, um, you know, from the far realm or whichever, um, and they were doing like some ritual and um, he, he farted in front of the whole group. <laughs> Even Cthulhu was there. <laughs> he farted in front of Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, yes, he, he did tell me this in confidence once. I'm very good at keeping secrets. You can tell me any of your secrets. <laughs> anyway, so the point is, he needs help falling asleep sometimes. So I found this spell, and uh, yeah, so that's what I use on him. Nonsense, nonsense. It's going to work on you. Here. Okay, get ready. Shh, no, sit down. Okay, well, lay down or whatever. However you like to sleep. I'm not quite sure how humans like to sleep, but you know. Okay.
understand. It always works on Taglop. What do you mean? Wisdom saving throw. <sighs> I just don't understand. Hmm. Well, I do have other ways that I could help you, I guess. Items that I've been collecting. You know, from the past quests that we've been on. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, this one, I think. down, but you can see the shininess in it. It's definitely pixie blood. I mean, I harvested it myself. <laughs> um, well, mainly Daglop really likes it. It's one of his favorite drinks. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that pixie dust makes humans fall asleep. So what I'm thinking is if you drink some of this pixie blood, you will fall asleep too. So maybe you will. Would you like to try some? Oh, don't worry. It was a very humane death. I don't know the meaning of humane. Yeah, you're right in that. From what I assume it means, it was humane. Mm -hmm. Bludgeoning damage? Yeah, slowly fading away. And terrible pain. Something like that. <laughs> Cthulhu doesn't really like pixies or fairies or anything. He has this thing against the archfey. It's like, you know, how big powers, they are just like, oh, I'm the most powerful. No, I'm the most powerful. <laughs> so funny. So, would you like to try? No. Well, it's for the best. For Daglop. <sighs> well, if that doesn't work, what about um, pixie ears? No, I don't have pixie ears. But I do have ears from one of my previous imp friends. Yes, well, you know, remember when I mentioned that um, they died a lot? I think I finally got the hang of it. Daglop's been here for a few weeks at least. But before Daglop, they used to die very often. But, you know, it's only because all my friends that I made in the cave, the rats, the bats, the frogs, you know, all that stuff, they would always fight and then they would die and then sometimes I didn't know what my spells did. So, ugh, things happen. Anyway, I had one imp friend that, um, it was my previous uh, streak was uh, two days, and uh, you know I grew very fond of that imp. Um, she was very sweet. Her name, her name was Trixie, and um, these are her ears. What was that reaction for? You pretend like you've never seen imp ears before. <laughs> Come on, they're just you know. 
dried up a little bit. Come on. What do you mean, why do I keep them? It's like a little remembrance of my friend Trixie. I miss her. it in this envelope. It was not addressed to me, but um, it was addressed to someone. There was something in it. I pulled it out and threw it away, but it's because it wasn't addressed to me, so I shouldn't be reading it. <laughs> but I needed this um, envelope to store the ears in. What's it like to get letters from someone? have a home. Well, when I do, will you send me a letter? Yay! <laughs> oh yes, this looked like it was a very important letter, whoever it was addressed to. <laughs> I, I blacked out the important information, you know, for them. Just throw it in the gutter or something, I don't know. Where else do you put important letters? <laughs> I guess I could have put it in the trash, you know, properly disposed of it. Oh gosh, does that make me a litterer? Litterer? I feel really bad. I should probably be better about that. Priority. Priority post. Oh yeah. I wonder what was in here. So what do you say? Want to try eating some of my um, old friend Trixie's ears? Well, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna do, but for all we know, it's gonna help you sleep. I mean, out of all the effects that it could do, it could either do nothing, I mean, or it could kill you, but <laughs> it probably won't. And then there's the, you know, possibility in the middle of you could fall asleep. It could knock you out, make you unconscious, I don't know. Oh, I don't mind at all. I keep them because, you know, helps me to remember them, but you're my friend now. And I'll do anything to help you. So. I don't mind. I really like the type of paper. zero, or no, out of 1 to 20, on a scale of 1 to 20, I'd say their performance was about a 3. Like, really bad. Um, uh, you think it's a 1? I mean, yeah, that woman's ears did start bleeding, but I saw a drunk man in the corner, and he was tapping his foot, so I'd like to think that he found a beat somewhere in there. I mean, it was definitely fluctuating from, you know, a different 
beats and I, um, I don't know too much about music, but I know that was bad. But I know that music can also soothe, soothe people into their sleepy times. So, I picked this up because it reminded me of uh, the frogs in the cave that I used to live in. Um, I, I wasn't too fond of frogs, but you know, this was just too cute. I couldn't help it. But I do know it to be a sort of music device. So, lay down and relax and I will soothe you with some frog tunes. machine <laughs> the hair in my face get out of my face <laughs> okay there we go think I'm a good musician? <laughs> if this warlock thing doesn't work out, maybe I'll be a part. I don't know though. Parts are really charming. <laughs> I don't know if I could be ever as charming as, as a bard. It's truly amazing. After that bard, just absolutely ruined that performance. He, like, ended up charming several ladies right after that. How is it even possible? <laughs> even the one with the bloody ears seemed like she was into him. <laughs> it's really crazy. something that I think is really cute. 
but they still seemed to think he was scary. A little less so. They, they didn't run screaming as much, because he's a rather large rat. So I thought to myself, what can I do to make him more approachable? And then I found this. <laughs> it's like a little kimono for, well, your pet. Except that Daglop is my friend, he is not my pet. Well, sort of. Anyway, I got this for him. He's asleep right now. I think he was hit by the spell I tried to uh, use on you earlier. He must not have won his wisdom saving throw, as you said. <laughs> See, I told you it works on him all the time. Anyway, when he wakes up, I'm going to give this to him as a gift. <laughs> He's gonna look so cute. quiet. 